channel if you're new here welcome i am Ade banjo faith adeola and i film about faith parenting and lifestyle all the way from lagos nigeria um in my last video i talked about or in my last montessori video i talked about what to do before you consider um while considering implementing the montessori principle at home what to do even before you consider based on what i did personally and what i'm still doing so today in today's video i'll be talking about how to start your montessori journey like what to do to start because i'm sure many of us just like me i thought before starting then i have to start to rush so i was all about the rush the the, the toys and the shelf and all of that but even if you do not have the toys yet, you don't have an open shelf or even a space for it, there are so many things you ha can still do to start practicing Montessori at home, regardless of the age of your child, or even if you maybe just put to bed. Yeah. So let's jump right into the video. Okay. So like I said in my last video, Montessori is a lifestyle. Yes. Montessori is a lifestyle. So if you want to start to practice Montessori at home, then first of all, you consider how you parent. Yes, your parenting method. So you can just start by adding little things into maybe your discipline method, like please, I'm sorry, and all of that. So I'll just tag and name this respect and positive discipline start to show your parents and your children model the respect that you want to see there are many parents in fact i am also guilty of it sometimes i just I, oh yeah 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 leave yeah. that please co -co 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 calm down and when that child see you do that or when they hear you do that they feel that is a normal way they talk to people so whenever they, they are friends or someone outside do something to them the same way you, you shouted on them when while they're at home or you shout on them usually or you even talk to them even if you don't shout that's the same way to do things you notice some children when they talk to their peer or even an adult for example they would you hear them say give me that thing that's how uh, maybe i am not so i can't say 100 percent for sure but most of the times these children are just blank slates this is what we they see us do that they copy most of the time so respect and positive discipline like i said i will be uploading very soon a video talking about respect and positive discipline personally i'm trying and i'm still learning a lot about it and how to um imbibe this respect into our children for themselves for their parents for their teachers and those around them even their peers secondly practical life activities there is rather a lot that these children can do for example while you wash plates you have two year olds that can wash plates if you give them the opportunity to just set up a stool that is safe for them that they won't fall down please set up a stool for them in the, at the kitchen sink and give them their cup to wash or their plates to wash when they see you even or while you do it they could stand there and be rinsing or just do something maybe watch you now over time when they observe you do this activity over and over again they pick it up and they are able to do it independently as time goes on also sweeping the house you notice that when you want to sweep your child runs also to pick a broom and wants to start sweeping and <laughs> in process of they're scattering maybe the rice on the floor all around the house please do not shush them away encourage them to sweep even if it is just for two minutes they do it then you now help them and it's not like you tell yeah go now you let me do this you have scattered it and no you just tell them calmly okay you've had your turn now it's my turn and then you show them even how you do it over time they do they would learn to do it well sometimes the tools we use are even too big for them you could get a child size tool if you can afford it and if not the one that we're using god can also do so same goes to cleaning whatever it is the point is practical life activities whatever it is that we do show them how to do it they are not too young to learn how to wash their hands like my nine months old the other day no no it's just today I was washing her hand, she just finished eating and I was washing her hand. Normally I would have just put her hand under the tap and just rinsed it or bring a bowl of water. But I had held her hand and rubbed it together. And rubbed it together. 
you know showing her how to do it now she's very small but over time she would understand what she am doing and she would model it and by the time she's maybe four or five by the grace of god you see that she's doing a lot of things by herself on her own so include same goes to putting on their clothes and a lot of other things so the point is involve your child involve your children in the things you do around the house don't shush them if you don't say they're just children they waste your time please this is the only time you have with them how time flies is what you will end up saying after a while by the time they're out of the house or by the time you just that they're already teenagers so this time we have please let us just take our time five minutes ten minutes twenty minutes is not so much per time to just show Another them something is choices most of the time it is normal for us to make the choice um, little choices for our children both big and small the choice of school they should go the choice of um, um whatever it is like we make a lot of choices for them but have you considered allowing them to also make their choices picking up a dress or two clothes of course the choices shouldn't be more than two depending on how old they are if they are very little please just two choices is okay two options rather of what to choose from for example their clothes do you want the red gown or the blue gown or do you want to wear your gown or your... provided it is appropriate you are comfortable with the two just allow them to to also have this sense of choosing now personally i'm trying to let me go back to when i was little I kind of grew up, although it's, it's also part of my temperament, I had this tendency to be very dependable. Like, I do not, sometimes I do not want to even think for myself. I just want to go along with what the choices that have already been made or whatever rules that are already on ground. I just want to obey it, don't go out of the box and all of that. And at a point, I had to sit myself down and, and really talk to myself. Because when I go out to buy things now, I don't even trust my own judgment anymore. I feel like I need somebody to, you know, tell me, do this, what, what I got, is it right? So, I feel, I think, if we give our children the opportunity to make choices, of course, within, like I said, within the choices you're comfortable with, or options you're comfortable with them doing, then over time, they will grow up to be independent and um, confident, yes. Confident of whatever choice they make. Yes, without looking back and I don't know if you know this eye of I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I don't know if they will be confident and when they make their choice, they are clear this is what they want. I love it when I see people who know what they want and go for it. Of course, once it is um within what God wants for us, we should not forget that God is the determining factor and He is the one that should lead us in every decision we make. So as Christ also, God has also given us the grace, the opportunity to choose. We should also give our children, no matter how small. My nine months old, sometimes I just while I, I pick her up, um take her to where um her clothes are arranged and pick two tops. Do you want this one or that one? Of course, she does not understand what I'm saying. But I'm lifting the two in her face. And whichever one her hand touches first, I just take it as that is what exactly <laughs> she wants. But as she gets more conscious of what's going on in her environment, it becomes a no. Okay. So I would also like to add this. That please do not try not to over schedule a child's day. Let there be a time when they would have nothing on the timetable that mommy has put. Or daddy has put for them to do. Like they will sit and like, okay. They have to think for themselves and decide what to do at that point in time. Boredom, of course, is not a bad thing. Please let allow them to also, you know, think of what to do part time for themselves too. Now, I'm not saying we should just give them free hand. That is permissive parenting. But give them the space to make their own choices. I hope I'm coming. The last point I'll try to I would like to note here is um outdoor activities. There is this inner connection we have with nature. I don't know if you've been to a stream or a natural waterfall or a place that is full of green, like you just see everywhere is green and there is this, the trees, the breeze blowing. I, I don't know how else to describe it, but I would just like to put it as nature. I don't know if you've been around nature and the difference between being in the middle of um, a place that is artificially decorated, maybe buildings and all of that, and then being 
with nature so we have this connection with nature and like our children also are not left behind so please i would like to at this point encourage us if you are thinking of practicing montessori then let them also go outside please do not just lock them inside in yoruba they will say omo get inside many of our children are omo get inside they don't know what's going on outside they don't go outside so please once in a while in a day in a week whatever it is just take them out allow them to feel the sand allow them to touch the grass of course the one that will not scratch them because they are grasses that are bad <laughs> allow them to feel the breeze in their hair to feel you know if you are close to a stream allow them to their feet to touch the water if you have the opportunity taking them to the beach whatever it is just i'm not saying you have to have a lot of money to do all of this you don't even have to spend because nature is everywhere around us so take your children outside allow them to enjoy nature connect with nature there are a lot of things that children can also do outside don't be scared that they would get dirty wear the clothes that you are okay with them getting dirty and allow them to run to climb to touch to feel it whatever it is that they want to feel provided it is safe and they're not putting things in their mouth then please allow them to feel the grass in their leg how the grass feels whatever it is finally the environment prepare your environment and now this is the physical part of montessori the part that is attractive to people and people see that yes i, I want to practice montessori at home and that is the environment now first of all about the environment make your home baby proof excuse me make your home baby proof if you have center tables please try and clear them or put the stuff at the edges to get rid of the rough edges that could be of um endanger your child your babies or whatever it is sockets that um are not you know that are exposed try their things that they purchase is to block them or you can even diy it and block these things i'll be doing a video that takes us around um how i tried to make the home comfortable or accessible to my baby in this place and um and okay so the point is just make your home comfortable the part of the open shelf is also there if you have the space for a clear room beautiful there are a lot of shelves the point is just get a place where your child's toys can be neatly arranged section by section it might not be partitioned like this but just a place where your child's toys can be beautiful arranged beautifully arranged rather in another video i'll also be talking about montessori toys the arrangement why natural why we use natural materials and all of that so um i think this is a good place to stop this video <laughs> if you stayed so far thank you so much i am um, so grateful if you're here to subscribe please press that subscribe button press it now press it now press that subscribe button and join the family of montessori in nigeria yes give this video a thumbs up please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and share with as many as you like yes i would also like to hear from us please drop a comment if you have not if you've seen this video please drop a comment questions i would like to answer questions too yeah so thank you very much and see you in my next video bye